sir. Chris, You're that was the worst him, part me. of Obama. Let me ask my question. Well, I'll, I'll Let him ask the question. He just cannot stop himself. I paid millions of dollars in taxes. Show us your returns. I've been a Republican all of my adult life. I have exclusively supported Republican candidates. I am a registered Republican. I have been a Republican my whole life. Presidential debates are so important for our democracy, getting to have that firsthand experience, listening to the candidates and hearing what they have to say for themselves and allowing you to form an opinion. Main traits I look for in a president are compassion, intelligence, ability to deal with crises, and looks out for those less fortunate. Many of you, a Democrat governor said, President Trump did a phenomenal job. It's not about you. Oh, really? Go take a look. You lied to the American people to protect the rich people in the stock market. The virus spread through the country. Claiming that you did such a great job is irrelevant. I mean, I have a mask right here. I put a mask on, you know, when I think I need it. I've seen you lots of times without masks. I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking. Whole point. You're supposed to wear a mask at all times. 200 feet away from it, he shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. Oh, make fun of him, right? This is a thing that's supposed to help us, the masks and the social distancing. You make sure you make fun of that. Come on, you're the most powerful person in the world. That's not what powerful people do. That's what insecure people do. I give you Excuse an me, I got rid of the individual mandate, which was a that big... Not getting rid of something that isn't like having a plan. Thing. That was the worst I, I part of Obama. Sir, Chris, You're that was the worst him, part me. of Obama. Let me ask my question. Well, I'll, I'll ask Joe. I, I, doesn't listen, doesn't even wait for the question. I wouldn't expect this out of a kid. An inability to listen to a question during a debate. Is it true that you paid $750 in federal income taxes each of those two years? I paid millions of dollars. That's in not what it says. We have the receipt. Dollars one year. I paid twenty-seven million. Show us your tax return. I had seven hundred and fifty dollars for every time you told a lie during these debates. I would be rich right now. Show us the returns. You can release them at any time. You'll see it as soon as it's finished. You'll see it. <laughs> for four years, we've heard that. You'll see it when I release it. Well, I wonder when that will be. Are you willing tonight? to condemn white supremacists and militia groups. Sure, Are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, do it? I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right like me to condemn? White Proud supremacists boys. and right Proud, Proud militia. Boys, stand back and stand by. Stand by. Why stand by? Now you're changing the subject. You can't tell a, a group, which is potentially violent, to stand by. That's like telling a military unit to stand by and wait until you give their command. What kind of nonsense is that? Did you use the word smart? Oh, don't do this. You are so mean. Don't ever use the word smart with me. This is coming from the man that won't even read his press briefings. Smart people don't go around telling people how smart they are. I'm go urging first. my supporters to go into the polls and watch very carefully because that's what has to happen. The way that Trump talks about elections is absolutely crazy. Absolutely paranoid. It's almost like he knows he's going to lose. If it's not me, I'll support the outcome. And I'll be a president, not just for the Democrats, I'll be a president for Democrats and Republicans. That's what I want. That's called leadership. That's what I'm looking for in a president. I'm supporting Joe Biden for president because he has the experience and the temperament to help bring this country together. He's running to represent all Americans, and that's what our nation needs right now. I see a decency and a normalcy in, in Joe Biden that makes me trust him. I'm a Republican, and I'm going to be voting for Joe Biden for president. I will be voting for Joe Biden. And I am voting for Joe Biden. I'll be voting for Joe Biden. I'm a Republican, and I'll be voting for Joe Biden.